Captain Gary from Ozella Keys Marina here with Captain Rick Murphy from Florida Insider and Sportsman's Adventure. So for everyone that's asked what can still be done, uh, Northport and all the communities in South Florida, you can clearly see what can still be done. Captain Rick and his team um, had the suggestion on, you know, most of the help is up front and immediately after the storm, but it's slowly forgotten. So from your experience, that's the reason why you got us out here and we came out, you know, weeks after, I feel like we could be here for weeks helping. And using your contact, Gary, this is the same neighborhood you drove your airboat down and we're actually rescuing people in four feet of water. So guess what? The four feet of water turns into ripping drywall and insulation out. And what we found in doing this uh, with Irma and Katrina and Andrew and some others, what we learned is four to five weeks after the storm, all the federal and all the state help is gone. And what the hardest thing for all these people who've been affected is to get the crap that's in the house out to the curb. They don't have the help. You know, the wife and the husband, especially if they're elderly, they can't yeah. pick up a saturated couch that weighs 10 times more than what it would normally weigh. They can't move a refreezer that doesn't work anymore. And more importantly, they most of the time they can't deal with the stench because they didn't have any power on. So remember this, guys. Gary's 150% right. If you really want to help, leave the cases of water at home. Just show up with a group of guys, gals, whatever your, your team is a make of, and then just help them get the stuff uh, from in the house out. And you know what? They need somebody else to talk to too because they've been working and living in this mess for several weeks now. So yep. we certainly love to see you here in Northport or Fort Myers, Cape Coral. Pick a destination and go help somebody. It'll make you really feel good about yourself. Absolutely. And guys, you know, leave the fancy equipment at home. Bring some hands, tools, some, you know, the, the ratchet self and the, the screwdriver sets help us out. Wheelbarrows, shovels, that type of stuff. But uh, this is what you can do to help. So yeah, things that they can clean mildew with. Things that they can clean a tile floor. They're not going to rip the tile floor up. We use the Starbright anything off. And we realized that even though the mud is dried and caked on the tile floor, we spray that on there and we can wipe it right off. You don't have to go back and mop the floor 30 times. And Rick, you know what's the most important thing I learned today is bring a positive attitude. Yes. That's the biggest thing. It's obvious what these people have gone through. So bring some funny jokes. I think yeah. they'd really enjoy it. <laughs> exactly. Let's and get maybe back. a rum and coke in the end of the day too. <laughs> Let's get back to work.